Hey guys, Initial Shock here. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed your weekend. I hope you guys are going to have a good Monday, enjoying your Monday. Um, just want to say thanks to everybody that's been subbing and stopping by the streams and having some good conversations on the streams and uh, liking the videos. You guys are great. Um, Keep it up. The, the channel's growing steadily, and, and I like where it's going. So, Oh, and uh, on another note, too, I'm going to start streaming on Twitch, actually. Um, so I'll leave that the link for the Twitch uh, channel in the description below. And you guys can pop over to Twitch when I'm, uh, when I'm streaming. I, I think it's a lot better. Plus, you can actually stream in 1080p, which, uh, you know, allows for a bit better video quality. Um, and YouTube, you can only actually stream in 720p. So, uh, without further ado, we're going to just jump right into the video here. I found a link, sorry, I found a Reddit thread uh, by not the rad gamer Dan. So all the credit for, for finding all this stuff is going to go to him. Um, <clears throat> he states in the, in the post, With Turning Tide's content being added to CTE, a few of the new weapons, gadgets, and vehicles have been added with the patch. So he's, he's found these... Um, and he's kind of built a, a nice little page where you can actually click on a few links and uh, highlights a few of, of the of the weapons, gadgets, and vehicles coming to Turning Tides. So I, I thought that would make for a good video. So I, I think some of these, I think it's safe to say that that these are are confirmed um, if they're going to be in the CTE. Uh, you know what? Let's not say that they're confirmed, but. These are, are highly likely to make it to the Turning Tides DLC um, since they're you know being added to the CTE. So without further ado, let's just jump right into this. Uh, first off, he starts off in the gadgets section. So the gadget um, that he's found is called the Heliograph. It's a signaling device which flashes reflecting sunlight from a moving mirror. <clears throat> he also states that currently the use of it is unknown. Some could speculate that it could be used as some sort of spotting device, which to me, I mean, you have the, uh, what are they called, the spotting binocular things, you have the spot flare, you you know, you can actually spot enemies by hitting RB. Um, on Xbox, it's RB. It must be R1 on, on PS4. So I don't know if it would be another spotting device. I think we have enough spotting devices in the game. But the next thing that he says is kind of interesting. He says, or it even could be a spawn beacon for the recon class. So could could Battlefield 1 be implementing a spawn beacon this kind of this late in the game? Who knows? Um, I'd like to think that it might be a spawn beacon, but that that's that's dangerous. I I, uh, I don't know. It, it offers uh, it offers a lot of flanking routes for for squads and stuff, but. Um, We'll have to see. I mean, they have enough spotting devices in the game as it is, so um, maybe it is going to be a spawn beacon. But we will see. Um, jumping right into the vehicle section now. So the uh, two new vehicles in the expansion are, are... So here's the first one. It's a destroyer class. Uh, dis it's a destroyer battleship it's kind of boat. HMS Lance L-Class Destroyer. So I'll, I'll grab pictures and I'll show you all these. Um, and uh, the French Astra Torres Airship. Now the airship is kind of interesting. It's... Uh, that, that's so weird. It actually looks like it can actually land on the water, but if we're just getting another airship, then... Uh, I just don't I, I don't really understand why they would be give, giving us a kind of another blimp I mean we already have the airship in the game now so I don't know maybe dice is running out of ideas <laughs> or or they could be saving the best for last which I think they might be the apocalypse DLC is probably going to in my opinion is going to be the uh, the best DLC um, so moving right on into the weapons section uh, he goes on to state six of the new weapons appearing in the expansion include. So, here we go. We have the Browning M1917, which is a machine gun, so it's going to be for the support class. The Carcano M1891, which is what we've all been waiting for. Um, the Farquhar Hill, 
uh, which is the most interesting on the list. Uh, it looks like it's going to be making it into the game. The Mauser 1917 Trench and the sorry, the Air Arasaka Type 38. So that's the Japanese kind of standard issue rifle. And this one's a weird one. The Martini Henry Grenade Launcher. Uh, which is kind of funny because it's actually just a grenade launcher. Um, but some some seem to speculate that it might be able to kind of load uh, buckshot into it or, or um, kind of like a shotgun, like an airburst rifle kind of thing. Martini grenade launcher. So that that, that would, uh, I, I don't know which class that would land in, but we know that the Type 38, the Japanese rifle, would probably be the Scout. The Mauser 1917 Trench could possibly be the Assault class. The Farquhar Hill most likely be in the Medic class. The Carcano would be Scout. And uh, the Browning would be support. So those are only six weapons. I'm not exactly sure how many we're supposed to be looking for or getting in the uh, Turning Tides DLC. That could be all we we get um, for this one because you know they they have to uh, they have to you know make up the whole last DLC too, which you know sounds the coolest. So um, I'll put pictures up of those. Uh, of those rifles and the, the machine gun and the martini henry grenade launcher they're all pretty neat um, but uh, this video is going to be a little shorter which i like i don't like longer videos so this one actually fits perfectly uh, i can't wait for you know i can't wait for the turning tides dlc but i like i said before i'm, I'm more excited for the apocalypse any new content with battlefield one is uh... i guess good content um, I, I'm going to be making a video, so I made a video last week on the October patch, um, which I don't know if some of you, you, some of you might already know or haven't played it or may have you, you may have even have noticed the, the patch, but a lot of aspects of the patch have, um, I'd say f have failed in some, some ways. So a lot of people are, you know, on Reddit, on the forums and, uh, they're kind of disappointed with this patch because it was supposed to fix a few things and it seems like it only maybe um, kind of exasperated the situation even more so there's a there's a there's a lot of people that are uh, kind of salty out there uh, I'm a, I'm could be classified as one of them I, I haven't played much battlefield since the since the patch I've been playing shadow of war but uh, you know uh, this week I'll be testing out the new patch and uh, bringing you some information on 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 what they're doing and seeing if they're if they're gonna fix it sooner than later. So that'll be it for today. I'll see you guys Tuesday and Wednesday um, as per the new schedule. I won't have a video Thursday and I won't have one Friday, but I've got the new Twitch channel set up, so I hope you guys can make it over to that. I'll put the description, or sorry, the, the link in the description below for that. I'm going to try to stream Thursday night um, and Friday night and maybe even Sunday. So I'm going to be pretty busy. I'm going to be online, so you guys should be able to find me. Again, the thanks for the support. You guys are great. Um, yeah, yeah, you guys are awesome. Thanks for uh, Thanks for the subs, likes, and everything. Um, really appreciate it. It's it's uh, it's very cool to see kind of the the community growing and and where you guys are, are going to take it and uh, yeah, very happy with the channel. So more content to come. Stick around. Um, enjoy the rest of your Monday. I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. See you later.